welcome back so we are now ready to start analyzing our data and just to get ourselves hands-on we are going to start analyzing the sales first and then once we have basic understanding of tableau we will move towards preparation preparing our financial statements i mean uh, the profit and loss statement and the balance sheet etc okay so first of all uh, to start analyzing the data we have to add a new sheet tableau automatically adds first sheet for us so in this case we can simply click here otherwise you can add a sheet by clicking here as well if you have to add a dashboard you will click here but we will only move towards dashboard once we have added enough sheets to start preparing the dashboard so dashboard is basically going to use the data that we have already entered in the sheets so let us click on sheet one and once you do that you will see that on the left hand you have access to all the tables that you have just entered so you have the chart of accounts and on the top you have calendar then you have chart of accounts then gl and 10 territory and you can also see all the fields that were entered in all of these uh, tables now on this part you can see we have the columns and rows on this basis you want you will decide that which elements you want to present in your columns and in your rows uh, i mean in your table and uh, here you can apply different kind of filters we will just talk about that in a minute so the first thing that i want to do is you know i want to analyze the numbers and you know the numbers are stored in the gl and they were stored in this uh, column that was called amount so i will take the amount field from here and, and i will drag it to the rows or columns you will just start to understand that in a minute that in which case we should be using rows or columns or we should be using this option here but let us start that with the rows for now now the first thing that you will notice is system has uh, you know deployed a chart for all the values and i actually wanted to see the values in the numbers format in the table format so i will click here on this show me option and i will click on this table and system will transfer the data back from from the chart back to this table format now what is this 24 million and 640000 well this is actually everything that was included into your gl regardless of the date or you know the account or territory since we have just dragged down only a single field this is everything from the gl be it profit and loss accounts or the G, the balance sheet accounts or anything else now of course that value is quite meaningless for us so we have to deploy some kind of you know uh, columns here as well so to begin with i will deploy the date field from my calendar table to the columns and once you do that you know you can see that system has quickly split your data into the three years that is 2018 19 and 20 so these were the basically three years available in my data now one beautiful thing that we can show you here is that if you just click on this plus icon here on the date uh, option you can see that system has quickly split that data to the next level as well so the yearly data has been split into the quarters and if i click again on this plus sign on quarter system has also split each year i mean each quarter to the month as well and if i now click on the plus sign in the month system has also split the data that was by month to by date as well now to go back i will click on this minus sign on the month and we have the data back in the month and now i will click on this minus sign on quarter and the data is back into the quarters and if i click on this minus sign here system will take me back to the years as well so by just adding one option into the columns the system has split the data into the calendars i mean the years quarters months and dates as well now if i want to further split the data by year all i need to do is i need to drag down uh, to this uh, territory table and i need to bring this country from here to the columns and you can see that system has quickly split the yearly values further into the countries as well so for 2018 we can see we have australia balance canada balance france germany new zealand uk and usa uh, if you only want to see one country at a time you do not want to present all the countries for example say i only want to see usa i will remove this from here and rather i will use this filter option so if i click this country from here to the filter system will ask me that which country do you want to show so 
for now I'm only selecting USA I will click on apply and as I see that you can see that system has changed the values in the background and I will click on OK and now the values are only appearing for the USA and this is how the filter functions work but you know you may like to change the country frequently for that I will click on this drop down and I will say please show me the filter and this filter will appear here in the corner and now if you like to change the country you can do that here on the screen so if I click on UK you can see that now system is showing the value of UK plus USA so I will just uncheck USA now and you can see we have the values for UK only I will uncheck the UK as well there is no data and if I now click on Germany system will only show me the values for Germany so this way you can filter the values for any specific parameter using the filter option so I will keep this filter option for me available I will just select all of them for now and let us go back to our starting point that we basically wanted to analyze the sales in this particular lecture so now you know we have to tell system that the values that we are using we have to filter them only for the sales and sales was basically the ledger that was available in the chart of accounts now if we should be going to the account or sub account level directly or we should be working at some different level let us first discuss that in our data so I'm back to my data file and I'm showing that to you in Excel because that is quite clearly visible here so let me take you to my chart of accounts and let us see that at what level the sales have been defined so of course in the sub account there is a ledger of sales but if you go back you can see that we have a sales in account level as well in the sub class 2 as well and in the sub class as well and not in class in class we had trading account okay let's start from the top so in the report we had profit and loss statement in the profit and loss statement we have trading account and then we have other options like operating and non-operating in the trading we have the sales option and then further in the subclass you can see that we have further split the sales into subclass 2 and then account we have sales and sales return as well and here as well so this might not be quite clear to you in the sales but you know in some accounts this will be very useful that at what level we have to work so for example if we start working on the subclass and we use the sales here the system will not pick up the sales return but if you want your answers to be you know picking up the sales and sales return as well and net of both the values we will be working on subclass level 2 or subclass any of them can be useful so let me repeat if you want only your results to include sales you will work on subclass and you will say subclass equals sales and if you want to merge the sales and sales return and you want to see the net figure of sales you will work on subclass level and you will save your subclass equals sales with that clarity i will go back to my tableau and i will apply the filter on subclass and i will say where subclass is sales let's do that so back in tableau we have our chart of accounts and i will apply this filter on subclass and now you have all of these fields appearing here I will drag down I will only select sales click on apply and click OK and you can see that system has now filtered down the values and you can quickly spot that the net sales in 2018 was 3.5 million 2019 5.6 and 2020 7.8 and finally of course you can check for any specific country as well just by clicking here on this option we can of course split our sales into quarters and months as well as we have just shown you earlier so you know I will go back to my main data and finally if you like to visualize this data in form of a chart or graph all you have to do is click here on this show me and you need to select the chart that you want to show so for example if I just select this chart here you will see that your data has been split into three years this way or you can choose this chart and you can see your data is now appearing yearly you can use the line chart as well well this line chart may not be looking very nice because data is only appearing in three years but if I further split in into the quarters 
or even in the months you can see that a clear line is appearing to you showing you that which months were higher when the sales was falling so we can quickly start comparing these results you can also deploy an area chart where you can see that the chart is a little it has a little different presentation or maybe this one where your sales will be split very differently it has been now split not only into three years but also into the quarters and this kind of line is showing you uh, the same type of trend or you can use these uh, you know uh, these circles which are basically showing you that which circle is the biggest i mean where you have made the most sales or you can also split the data into this kind of other charts as well which are definitely quite useful when you want to present your data in a different style so of course finally we have our bar chart as well so using these options you can quickly start to you know uh, visualize your data in different styles